the last time we talked, um, you were you were contemplating on like hanging it up, not hanging it up, but like, you know, moving on to your, you know, your job with your dad and stuff like that. And and I know in the um previous podcast you did today with Savan, I, I was I was hoping I got you before before him, but I didn't. I was like, shit. But anyway, um, <laughs> you did jujitsu for a little while and then um and then you joined the team. So was yeah. jujitsu like not lighting the fire for you to to go back to and that's the reason why you went to back back to crossfit no so alexis johnson a very good friend of mine uh she's she i got kind of credit with her with like kind of pushing me to the next level of competing um because i met her while i was doing a summer internship in houston in like 2016 and mm -hmm. uh just like being around her and watching her like push herself i was like oh dude there's a whole nother level that like i haven't even touched and so she's been my friend for eight years now or something like that. But um, in 20, in 2020, the year of COVID, she had texted me in like September and was like, hey, start training. We're going to do a team this year. I was like, okay, fine. Like pulled me out of <laughs> retirement. That was the first time I came out of retirement. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. compete in 2019. So 2020, we did team. We, uh, you know, we went down and did a sanctional in Buenos Aires and qualified for the CrossFit Games, and then COVID happened. And so, mm -hmm. like, teams weren't going to be a thing they were doing. They did, like, the at-home games that year, which I got to do as an individual. So I consider that, like, my second time qualifying for the CrossFit Games as an individual. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but we didn't get to compete together, Alexis and I, on a team. So uh, she did team a few more times throughout the, the years um, with, like, some really awesome team teammates and, like, had a good time doing it. But she got to a point where she's like, all right, this is going to be the last year, like for good. I'm I'm done after this. And uh, she texts me. She's like, hey, <laughs> and, I'd, and this is again, I had like decided to retire. Like I didn't compete yeah, yeah. in 2022. So 2023 season comes around. She's like, hey, it's my last year. It would be really cool if we could do a team together um, so that like I can compete with you before I'm done. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was like, okay but i'm not helping you put the team together i'm not changing the way i train um it's like for funsies like but let's do it so we ended up putting together an awesome team had a great time in like the 2023 season um and we got to compete together at the crossfit games yeah and you so, you guys i think you guys didn't you guys like place like fifth or something like that we, we were like 11th so we 11th, did yeah okay. we alexis was extremely sick the entire weekend of the crossfit games which mm -hmm. was tough um for her you know that's like that's her last time at the crossfit games that's got to be like tough where like i mean she she pretty uh, she either had flu or covid we don't know which one it was we didn't say <laughs> we didn't talk about it um yeah. we'd pretended like she wasn't sick but like i remember the first event we were we were doing synchronized overhead squats facing each other and dude her eyes were like bulging out of her head she was pale and I was like, this is going to be a rough weekend, dude. <laughs> like, it was bad. Yeah. But, yeah, so that's how I got pulled out of retirement. That's why I stopped doing jiu-jitsu um, because I decided to compete. And, like, I couldn't do jiu-jitsu uh, without trying to grapple like a wrestler and, mm -hmm. like, re like you know, move quickly and, like, re like push a pace or whatever. And I was, dude, I, I thoroughly loved it. But every week, my neck, my back, my my fingers, the toes, like my, I'm pretty sure I broke my hand once. I couldn't shake a hand for a few months. Um, <laughs> like, dude, it, it was awesome, but like it was breaking me at the same time. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, okay, like I need to, like, if I'm going to compete, I can't do this too. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, I do, I would love to go back and, and get back into that grappling because uh, I, I certainly miss it, but it doesn't jive well with trying to keep your body intact. Yeah. And, and that, and like that kind of works well with your wrestling background too. So yes. Yeah. I, so it, it brought back I, a lot of those, like those yeah. fires from like wrestling, you know? Yeah. 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 I, so I've never wrestled or done jujitsu. So I'm just like, I have a feeling if I go up against like a smaller individual, I'm going to get like thrown, like thrown around or I'm going to toss other people around because I have like no idea what I'm doing. It's, uh, probably <laughs> like they'll, they'll probably throw you right into the fire when you like go in there.
Yeah, yeah. They'll be like, "Oh, hey, you're big and strong. Why don't you come 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 on and join the circle? Get in the circle. Let me show you how I can use your levers against you." Yep. And uh, you're like, I think my favorite term for like jujitsu is, I like it whenever people show me how to fold my clothes while I'm still in them. You know, and that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm not flexible either, so that I'd get definitely screwed. So, <laughs> yeah. But um. With the, with a lot of people that don't know who Alexis Johnson is, she's a, a former misfit ath athlete, yeah. and she, I, like you said before, she goes hard, mm -hmm. like hard, like like you said, you've seen like one level of her, and like it's it's like almost double that. So like yeah. she she loves she loves going into that pain cave like a lot. And so how was whenever her, I met her, her, she would go into asthma attacks in the middle of metcons. Like she has asthma. I was like, dude, you're a psycho. Like, is she trying to be awesome. like FDR? Is she trying to be like Franklin Delano Roosevelt, like doing all those hikes and like trying to? Because he had Man, asthma I don't too. Know. It, she was she was so fit. Like, and she used to yell at me. Like, I, I think she hated me for a little while because I was so young and dumb and like a twenty year old kid. And yeah, she she taught me a lot that like just about how to like push yourself dude, to a new level, and that was cool. <laughs> Yeah, and and what like what were some of the things that she said to how to that makes you better to push yourself, other than other than you getting yelled yeah. at? Yeah, I mean, one of the the there were a few things. I've gotten yelled at by her for for chalking in the middle of a workout. She's like, "You don't need chalk." Like, <laughs> like, like legit yelling at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I made the mistake of talking in the middle of a metcon to oh, her. No, you never do that. Never do that. And we were both working out next to each other. That's crazy. And she like looks at me like with like this fire in her eyes. And she's like, if you have enough oxygen to talk right now, you are not going hard enough. And I was like, oh, duly noted. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> and then there was a there's another moment. We were both on assault bikes. And I'm like, I'm like a bigger guy. I was like certainly bigger than a like little bitty Alexis. And uh we were the workout started with like a a 21 and a 16 calorie bike, 21 for the guys, 16 for the girls. And, um, like, obviously we're supposed to, like, we should get off at the same time if, yeah. like, if I pushed appropriately hard, <laughs> but dude, I shit you not. I got off at, like, I got to 15 calories and she hopped off and I was like, oh no, I'm so bad at this sport. <laughs> like, dude, she was like ran circles around me that entire summer, but it was awesome. Yeah. Was there, was there any workouts that you actually did beat her at one point? There was finally there was a workout i think and I, I don't even know if it was that summer i think it was because i i did that internship that summer in houston i went back to louisiana finished my last year of undergrad and then went to graduate school back in houston so i don't think it was until i like went home for a full year trained and then went back and like i finally got a w on her some at some point that year yeah yeah so did you have like a poster on the wall of her just like screaming, saying like, I got to get better. Like, I'm going to get better than you. I'm going to get better than you. The thoughts just haunted me daily. You know, she, <laughs> she lived rent free in my head, man.